happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Our friend Octopus was very busy writing Valentines. With eight arms, she could write Valentines for everyone she knew. She gave Valentines to her teachers, her coaches, her classmates, and everyone in her octopus family. She set up her dining room table in her octopus house with red paper hearts, markers, stickers, gel pens, and glitter. She wrote her first Valentine to person. Will you be my Valentine? I just love sledding down mountains with you. She sat at her dining room table looking through all of her craft supplies and wrote her next Valentine to another person. Dear person, I loved driving along that curved road along the beach with you. We saw so many birds, people flying kites, and gigantic waves. As an octopus, I love gigantic waves. They help me explore more the ocean. Then octopus sat at her table and looked again through all of her craft supplies. She had the perfect valentine for a third person. This person went to the zoo with Octopus, and they especially liked looking at the reptile house together. They got to watch a snake eat a mouse. That's when Octopus decided to write a valentine to that snake at the zoo. Snake, will you be my valentine? I just loved watching you eat a mouse. After writing her fourth valentine, Octopus got an idea. She loved her colorful valentines filled with stickers, glitter, and markers, and what would make them extra special was the perfect delivery. She got a big grin on her face as she looked outside at the pouring rain. She knew just how to make her friend's Valentine's Day extra special. She grabbed her umbrella. She may be an octopus, but she didn't want those valentines to get wet. And she walked up to the first person's house. Knock, knock, knock. Happy Valentine's Day! The first person was thrilled to have a visitor on this rainy day, and the Valentine put a huge grin on her face. Thank you, Octopus. They gave each other a hug, and Octopus went on her way. Next, Octopus went to the second and the third person's house and similarly gave each a Valentine and a hug before heading on her way. Unfortunately, on the way to the zoo to find Snake, Octopus tripped! It's hard to keep track of all eight legs, and Snake's valentines ended up in a puddle. Octopus didn't have enough time to run home and make another valentine, so Octopus decided to just knock on Snake's cage. She wished Snake a happy Valentine's Day and gave her a hug. And you know what? That hug was the best valentine Snake could have asked for. When you don't have arms, it's a bit challenging to initiate a hug with your friends. Snake was overjoyed. Thank you, Octopus. Thank you so much for my Valentine's Day hug. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone.